The boy ran into the road alone and a truck came at him. The father saw the danger and saved his son. But the daughter was not so lucky. The driver was trying to avoid them and overturned. The cat and fell off and hit the girl in an instant. The girl died, but her father didn't feel sad because Jack had a terrible idea in mind. At night, he took a shovel to the mausoleum and cut away the dirt from the coffin. Then he carried his daughter's body into the woods and buried her there. Not long ago, Jack buried his dead cat here and it miraculously came back to life. Jack also wanted to bring his daughter back to life. Jack had just returned home when he saw a line of footprints on the ground. He followed the direction of the footprints into the house. And then... Daddy. Jack was so excited to see his daughter come back to life. He hugged his daughter tightly and enjoyed the joyous moment. But when he washed her hair, he discovered something horrible. The girl had turned into a monster. But Jack thought it was a gift from God. But he didn't know that this stupid idea was about to lead the family to an even bigger disaster. The girl jumped into her mom's arms. But the mom was terrified and pushed her daughter away. She couldn't believe it. The girl had been in a car accident and had been buried. The husband resurrected his daughter while his wife was away. This action brought about a terrible disaster. The first victim was Jack's neighbor. He rushed back to his home after learning that the girl had been brought back to life. But danger followed. The man fell to the ground. He thought the murderer was the girl, but when she took off her mask, he realized it was his dead wife. The man couldn't run away in time. He was stabbed by his wife. Jack heard his neighbor's shouts and rushed to him, but he found the neighbor already dead. Jack had no time to repent, for his wife was in great danger too. The daughter had come back to life and turned into a monster. She had a knife in her hand and she attacked Mary. Mary fought back, but she cut her body. Mary kicked the girl away, then grabbed her son and rushed to the door. The girl was locked in the house. Mary smashed the window with a chair. When her husband came back, Mary asked him to catch her son. Her son was finally safe, but Mary's life had come to an end. The woman was about to escape through the window, but she was stabbed in the back. The murderer was her resurrected daughter. Jack ran upstairs and found his wife dead. Then he was attacked by his daughter. When Jack woke up, he was alone in the house. His wife had been dragged into the woods by his daughter. Jack ran after her. He was almost stabbed by the girl hiding in the shadows. Jack quickly defeated the monster. The monster made her last stand, just as he was about to kill the girl. His wife came back to life and attacked him. Jack was killed by his wife. His wife and daughter bury him in the forest. Now the happy family of four has only a little son left. But will it survive? The movie is called Pet Cemetery, based on Stephen King's novel of the same name. A family comes to live in a remote town and discovers a mysterious place behind their house. Any dead creature buried in it will magically come back to life. Jack buries his dead daughter in the forest because he misses her. But it leads to a horrible disaster. He used his tragic experience to tell us that death is a law of nature. We can't break this law. We can only follow it strictly.